If you're looking to learn how to shoot like him, you're in the right place. This is the ultimate guide how to finish like Erling Haaland. He's had on this game. In this video, we'll focus on one of the most exciting aspects of the game, shooting while dribbling. I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step guide from proper footwork to body positioning. We'll cover everything in this video that you need to know to learn to shoot while dribbling. But first, please hit that like and subscribe button, turn on the notifications so you don't miss out my next videos. First of all, if you're a beginner and learning all about football, whether it's passing, shooting, dribbling, you always have to cover the basics first. It's very important to have a solid foundation in dribbling. This means practicing various dribbling techniques such as the inside and outside of your foot as well as keeping your head up on the field to maintain your awareness on the field. Better your dribbling technique is, the easier it will be to shoot while dribbling with the ball. Some of the important drills you can do to improve this technique is to set up some cones and go around them with the ball as well as pretending like you're pushing or if you have a friend with you go shoulder to shoulder with them all the time get your balance strong on the field because balance is critical when it comes to dribbling and finishing most of the scenarios when you are trying to shoot while dribbling that you're gonna have a defender right beside you that you are able to use that shoulder and you are able to maintain your balance while you are pushing a guy and keeping the ball on the uh, far foot and you're trying to get to a better position to shoot the ball. Next step is to improve your shooting techniques. I already made a video on how to improve your shooting techniques. You can find the link right up here. That video I talk about the importance of the stance, body positioning, the power, better muscle for uh, different types of shooting and accuracy, how to improve your accuracy. So when you are trying to improve the shooting while dribbling, uh, you're gonna have to use all those aspects and bring it to this particular skill. Your body positioning when you're shooting the ball, whether to have a high elevation shooting, you wanna keep your body a little more open, where you wanna keep the ball more on the ground, you wanna close your body right on top of it. Or which muscles to use for certain types of shooting skills, the knuckleball or curving. These are very important that you need to get those muscles strengthened, get the right workout done just to improve those specific muscles and ligaments. So this will help you a lot when it comes to finishing or shooting while you're dribbling. It's incredibly important to be able to use your both feet as this will make you more versatile and more unpredictable when you're playing on the field. When you are doing these drills, Start with your weaker foot and as you get your weaker foot stronger, slowly make your way to your stronger foot. And sometimes it's important that you pretend like you forgot your dominant foot at home. So this will help you a lot because give yourself a restriction where that practice or that workout that you do, you are not allowed to use your dominant foot. When it comes to weak foot or dominant foot, it's more of a mental game than your weak foot actually being weak. Because think about it this way, you go to a gym, and you do biceps workout. You don't only work your one arm up, you work both of your arms up. And you can most certainly lift the same amount of weight with both arms, right? But when it comes to writing, you can't write with your weak hand. Does that mean it's weaker? No, that means that you're not used to it. So you need to train your brain more than you need to actually get that strong. This is the same when it comes to your foot. You use your both feet all the time. You use for walking, you use for running. You actually use your weak foot more for balance than the other one. So your weak foot technically should be stronger. But maybe the problem is you calling it a weak foot. Maybe that shouldn't be called weak foot. The next step is to improve your different shooting techniques because there is different types of shooting techniques that you can do when you are trying to shoot while you're dribbling which is in steps side foot chip shot so these are very important that you improve and you know all this stuff that you are prepared for the scenarios when the time comes on the field practice each of these techniques to improve your overall success in each of these different techniques. You may find certain techniques works better for you, or you can maybe come up with your own signature move. Focusing on your timing is also crucial when it comes to shooting while dribbling. You wanna make sure you're shooting at the right moment. 
when you have the best angle, when you have the best distance to the defender, to the net or to the goalkeeper. Because I know from my experience a lot, including myself sometimes, a lot of players likes to take one too many touches where this will bring you closer to the goalkeeper, where they will take a better position and defenders will take a better position. So it's always important that you take one less step and actually finish it because this will catch them off guard and help you become more unpredictable on the field. So get yourself ready to always take one less step, which believe me, this will help you a lot improving your shooting techniques. So practice shooting while dribbling at different speeds and work on your timing to improve your scoring chances, where you can give yourself a time limit when you're going around these cones and then try to finish it as quick as you can right after you complete the obstacles. And the last but not least, I, I know I give this tip on every video I make is the vision. Developing your vision on the field can greatly improve your shooting skills while dribbling. This means being aware of your surroundings and anticipating where the defenders or the goalkeepers may be on the field and keeping an eye out for opportunities to shoot at the better time and better angles and better position and drills that will help you improve the skill is that you can have those obstacle courses set up and you can have a couple of cones on either side far distance and as you're going through dribbling through these obstacles you can quickly take a look at and spot those give them numbers and change those numbers and get in your head call numbers in your head to spot those cones that you set up. So it'll really help you create your vision, those extra eyes that you might get on the side of your head or the back of your head, because it, this will help incredibly for your, not just for shooting, but for passing, for everything else that you can do to get better on the field. Improving your shooting while dribbling technique takes time and practice. But with these tips and drills, you can actually start to see some progress on your future achievements. With dedication and hard work, you can actually be like Erling Haaland because he didn't come to that place not working hard. He worked so hard to get to that place, to improve his strength and his skills when it comes to finishing and when it comes to being so dominant on the field. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.